Right, we're here today at Barston. I'm going to run you through possibly my favourite way of fishing at the moment, which is the hybrid feeder. We're fishing peg 13 and I'm just fishing to the edge of the green. Let me just cast this back out and I'll talk to you a bit more through it. I'm just fishing to the front edge of the green, 42 gram hybrid, which is what I call the medium sort of size. Orange wafter on the hook, got a size 10 QM1, which is a proper man's hook. Got a little tub of water by the side of me. Now the idea behind that isn't just to wash my hands, just so I can test the wafter. I mean, wafters can vary a little bit in buoyancy. What I want is the hook laying flat and the wafter sitting up slightly, so it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So all I do before I make the ball up, just drop it in the tub of water, just check it sitting right. When it comes to making the ball, I always like to load the bowl first, like so. Plenty of pressure on that, because strictly speaking, if they don't come out, it doesn't really matter, because the hook bait's still going to be free. So, hook bait on top, like so, nice and central. I always try and think about how it's going to be when the actual pellets start to break down. A few more pellets on top. When you're chucking distance, it's important to keep streamlined. So nice and streamlined, that's ready to go. The way the fish feed here at Barston, you tend to get lots of bites and it goes quiet. So I'll always have two, three, maybe four feeders on the go. So when I reel this one in, I'll clip this one on, ready loaded, straight back out and it just saves time. On the subject of like the business end, I've got an 11 foot uh, prototype rod, obviously Daiwa. It's designed for this sort of fishing, but it allows me to sort of hit distances of 80 metres quite easily with an 11 foot rod, which is pretty impressive. Big reel, castism, got it loaded with six pound pulls, and then a 10 pound tournament ST shocker. I'm a big fan of shot leaders at the minute, mainly for the reason, yes, you're casting off 10 pounds, so that makes it a lot easier. But secondly, when I'm playing fish, it just gives me a better idea of where they are. So when I'm playing it nice and low, I can hear the shot leader hit the rings, know the fish is getting quite close, then I'll keep an eye on the spool, and I know once I've got three or four turns of the tournament on the tournament ST on the spool, then the fish is going to be in netting position. So for me, it just makes things a whole lot easier. Bait-wise, Barston's very much a uh, cart water, so there's a lot of boilies. Now, I've always been a big advocate of sort of cashing in on that. You know, one of the most popular boilies on the market is mainline cell. And I know that a lot of cell goes in here, fish love it, so to me it makes sense to incorporate it as part of my armoury. So what I've got here is Ringer's 2mm Method Micros, probably two pints of dry pellets, wetted them down so they've pretty much become three pints, and then to that I've added roughly half a pint of crushed up cell boilies. So literally I've got the flavour of cell on my pellets, but obviously still got your pellets, nice flavour of cell, the fish you associate that with food, so I'm just giving my pellets a boost, basically. On the subject of hook baits, orange wafters, I mean, that's probably been the best today, mainly because that's the one I've used the most. Orange wafters always good. Always have a pot of all sorts as well. Pink's a good colour at Barston. Not done so well with yellows and whites, as you can tell, there's a lot more yellows and whites than pinks in the tub. And then lastly, just for change baits, again, the washed out wafters. You know, if you're getting indications, just chop and change the colour of the, your hook bait and it can make a big difference. It's not a case of just ploughing on with the same hook bait. If you think there's fish in the swim and you're not catching them, chop and change and it can make a massive difference. Something else that's important when fishing barking is regular casting. Just probably leave it out three to four minutes to try. What I'm trying to do is keep casting to the same spot and build the swim up. So as I said, the feet, take the empty feeder off. Got a loop on the main line. Oh, over the clip clip it back into place and I can get straight back out again. As I said, it just saves time and it just means when the fish do arrive, I can spend more time in the water. So now, feeder's on the bottom, it's very shallow here. Pick up the empty feeder and just start making it up again. So I'm keeping an eye on the tip, but I don't have to look for tiny little knocks and taps. If I get a pull, it's either going to be a drop back or it's going to pull the rod in, so I don't have to pay close attention. As I mentioned, when you're fishing bast, it's all about keeping busy. I've had probably three quick chucks, two minute chucks, fourth chuck, just left it a little bit longer, it's gone round. 
it feels a decent fish. It felt really big when I picked up. I think it was just stuck on the back of a rock or something. But it still feels a nice fish. But it just sort of shows you've got to keep working at it here. There's a lot of fish in this lake and it's not what I call a sit and wait venue. You've got to sort of make it happen as opposed to waiting for it to happen. Even when you're not catching it, it's important to keep busy, keep a bit of bait going in. Then when you do get your opportunities, you're going to be at your best to take them. It's getting in quite close. In a minute, I should feel the shot leader not just going through the rings. It must be getting close now. I can see the fish on top. Yeah, it's shot leader just going through the rings now. So now I know that fish is pretty close. And once I get, one, probably got two turns on the reel now. Four, sort of four turns on the reel. It's going to be in netting position. There it comes. Whoa, a bit big for that. There we go. A bit of a shuffler. But a brilliant example of what so many people come to Barston for. Lovely or cold, right in the middle of the bottom lip. Let me just hold him up. So let me just pick him up so you can have a look. It's quite a lean fish by Barston standards, but a very pretty one too. And proof if you needed it, just how effective the hybrid can be.